माय नेम इज राजेश चैत्य वांगर राजेश वांगर छे आई एम फ्रॉम द वर्ली ट्राइब इन वेस्टर्न इंडिया वी लिव क्लोज टू नेचर इट इज इंट्रेंसिकली लिंक्ड टू आवर आइडेंटिटी द अदर थिंग दैट डिफाइंस अस फॉर जनरेशंस वी हैव यूज्ड ड्राइंग्स टू टेल आवर स्टोरीज बट टुडे आवर वेरी एग्जिस्टेंस इज अंडर थ्रेट everyone is talking about development and growth but these things are killing our fields our trees and our way of life i want to tell you how we got to this point once again through art but this time in virtual reality my village is around 130 140 kilometers from mumbai it is so beautiful it is near the surya river surrounded by hills and jungles we live a simple life we play the tarpa a musical instrument made with bottle gourd and bamboo When someone starts playing the tarpa everyone comes out we all forget how tired we are and on special occasions like the harvest or during weddings the married women in our community draw special designs called dev chok that's where the art of worldly paintings began It was in fact my mother who taught me how to draw. Worldly paintings are thousands of years old. We mainly use white paint and line drawings. That's how it's been for centuries. But people are now using it for commercial purposes. They mix color into the figures and distort our art. but while these others make their money from our art most genuine worldly artists don't get any exposure or money but art only gives us a temporary relief from the destruction around us our hearts weep when we see how our lives are being slowly destroyed dhartari or mother earth is very important to us our lives depend on dhartari we get food like rice millet fruits and tubers from her we had plentiful harvests she was feeding us but some decades ago things began to change i am 45 years old now but i remember seeing the first signs of destruction to my world when i was just 14 a few buildings started to come up near our home we were promised that these would bring us development and progress we are simple people so we just believed what we were told my parents believed too but we realized later that it was all a trap some of us even worked as laborers on these projects essentially destroying our own lands without even realizing what we were doing our life used to be a beautiful dream but it seems like we have been rudely woken up to this harsh new reality 
There are two big dams in our district. They provide water to the cities nearby. But we don't get enough water or electricity. We still walk for miles to fetch water. We don't have the rights to our own water or even our own lands. Many tribal people have cultivated these lands for generations, but now they are being asked to show papers to prove it belongs to them. How can they? We worship Mother Earth. We never needed any papers before. Now the proposed bullet train will also pass through our lands. A bullet train won't be of any use to people like us. In fact, it is affecting the nature here. Most of our children are denied access to good education. We don't have schools in remote areas and the children must walk long distances to get to school. The jungles, land and our villages are under threat. If all this is destroyed, how will we survive? How will our art survive? Our story is very similar to many tribes across the country. We are not against change, but let us choose what we want and what we don't. I liked using this new medium of painting to tell my story. All we want is the right to choose. At least, we deserve that much as citizens of this country. Tribal people are also Indians. And we are the soul of our traditions. Please don't destroy us.